Cool. Let's jump back into the questions. Um, in your view, what is the current state of Amazon for e-commerce brands? So, yeah, so right now it's going to be rough, right? Coming off COVID, coming off a recession or maybe not a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to be tough and it's going to dictate where where is the U.S. economy going to be? Um, what I've been advising a lot of my clients is Q1 is going to be rough um, because, yeah, I mean, um, everyone, every consumer just goes all out during Christmas. Q4 is the, the Super Bowl for an e-commerce mm -hmm. seller, right? Q1, there's always going to be a giant drop off of Q1, but how ugly is it going to be? Is going to dictate where we move forward with um, 2023. Um, and I think a really telling sign just with the US economy is will unemployment shoot up? If the unemployment shoots up, that's going to cause a panic that will ripple through the US economy. So that hasn't happened yet, but if it does happen, then that's not so fun news for us as e-commerce sellers, right? Because when unemployment drop, and unemployment goes down, there's going to be less money for people to spend, obviously, and then that is going to affect your, your brand. So what I would advise you as a seller or looking to sell is you want to be conservative with your costs, for sure. No, no frivolous spending. You need to prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. Okay, so revise your growth numbers to account for it. Be a bit more pessimistic with your... Uh, numbers to kind of account for this and don't compare what you did last year throw mm -hmm. that right out the window okay because it's not going to be realistic yeah, you want to okay. adjust your numbers accordingly um so yeah and then yeah if you can go into cost cutting mode um and uh yeah and then look at what kind of products are just low margin look at dropping products if you have multiple products that's something i would advise too and then okay. the other thing of course is you need to stay in stock we all know that right yep. you need to stay in stock. always because if you don't stay in stock and you don't plan ahead then you it's gonna it's gonna hurt you a lot more to get back yep. in the game cool so get efficient prepare for uh possible recession weather yeah like a, like another another key tip i'll, I'll kind of um uh, put you guys into as well is that you want to lean more into Amazon as a as a partner, and what I mean by that is that they have two new services that are very good. So one is Buy with Prime. So if you mm -hmm. have a uh, a uh, Shopify store, you can offer Amazon style shipping to your customers. That's going to improve the conversion rate for sure, and it will kind of help you. And you can keep all your warehouse goods within Amazon. You don't need a free PL at all. It cuts out that free PL altogether. And another thing that they are um, offering is um, ship to storage. So you can have the goods shipped from uh, China directly to a warehouse storage facility that Amazon controls. So then when you need to restock, they're going to be more efficient getting the goods to Amazon as well. Oh, so not FBA, but another warehouse that's yeah. just storage. Yeah, you know, well, well, you have a certain storage limit within FBA, right? Uh-huh. So it's outside you, of that. Okay. Outside of that. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. So if you maxed out your storage limit, typically people will ship it to a free PL to then hold the goods and then ship to Amazon, right? But Amazon has sorted out that solution too. They're cutting those Got guys it. out. Right. Got and it. then the frustration we always have with free PLs is that they're slow. They can't get stuff out shipped as quickly. Amazon doesn't prioritize them too. So, yeah, but they'll, right. prioritize, they'll prioritize an Amazon affiliated free PL. Got it. Get 